the swap, the giant that the head ball coach awakened, one that thrived in urban renewal, and now one where only the Gators get out alive. This game could have a huge impact on the trajectory of both team seasons as each are trying to break into the top 25. As we'll see a squad from the SEC, the Kentucky Wildcats, taking on another team from the SEC, the Florida Gators. For EA Sports College Football, Reese Davis with you alongside David Pollock and Jesse Palmer. And guys, can't wait to get this one started. Kentucky about to kick off to get things underway. On the move from inside is five. And the returner runs out of real estate as he goes down. The Gators' offense is going to be backed up thanks to that lackluster return. This has an old-school feel to it as this running back makes his way onto the field and all eyes are fixed. They are glued on him. Yeah, he, the old school because nowadays it's usually quarterbacks and the other guys that get all the attention. But this guy's so good, he is the focal point. He's the guy everybody's looking to. He's the tone setter. He's the physical bell cow for this team. He will get the rock early and often. Offense has it at the 28 on first down. Wide receiver coming across in motion. Right back to the well. He maybe gets a yard. They'll mark him at the 29. Now that's what you try to do as a defense. Limit those damages when they run the football. Get them on the ground. Short gains to set your defense for positive situations down the road. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The hand to the running back. He picks up maybe a couple before he stops right at the 30-yard line. Now this offense facing a third and long from their own 30. They go to the draw. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see which way that's going to go. The officials offer the deal, and the coach accepts it. They will take the penalty. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. Wow, and what a great job by that quarterback, finding his open receiver on third down. You know, guys, one of the most telling stats at the end of the game is third down conversion percentage. If you're a great third down team, it's invaluable to your offensive success, and that's why teams drill third down so much in practice. And they picked up nine on first down. It'll bring up second and short. Well, it's plays like that that'll help this offense stay in rhythm all game long. If you can have that kind of success on first down running the football, it just opens up your entire playbook moving forward. The big pickup on first down leaves him with second and one. The handoff to Johnson. The Gators will keep this drive going. Mr. Two Bits would be proud. The Gators standing up and hollering for a first down. Now, how does that cheer go? Well, first you have to have the yellow shirt, the striped tie, and go two bits, four bits, six bits, a dollar, all for the Gators. Stand up and holler. The Gators have it with a first and ten. They'll try the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. I love this linebacker because he's able to dissect what's happening in front of him, and he reacts downhill, uses his speed to get to the line of scrimmage and create the negative play. The lost yardage leaves him with second and 11. Back to throw, it's Mertz. Gets it out fast. I love playing man-to-man -man defense, and I love getting up in your kitchen and jamming you at the line of scrimmage, but it's really hard when they start running these crossing routes and drags and ends because now I'm in chase mode, and the QB has a little bit of space a lot of times, and those fast guys can create some separation and get a first down like they did there. On third down, he drops the throw. 
He's got it. They make the stop, but not before they do their work up top and pick up a first down. These two guys, just on the same wavelength, they make clutch connections all the time. And that's practice, man. That's all summer. That's all spring. Just so many hundreds and hundreds and thousands of balls where you know exactly when that guy's going to break. You know he's a stud. You're going to feed him, especially on these third down situations. Knocked down after a pickup of six, and they're trying to impose their will in the red zone balls at the 13. Listen, you, you got to be able to know what play to call and what hole to go through. Like, the line blocks for a certain hole. Good job getting through the hole, getting where it was blocked, getting a nice positive gain, making your situation really good on the next down. Leaves it with the running back. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. And you hear about run blitzes. This is exactly what a run blitz is. When you know the ball's coming up the middle, you want to bring those linebackers, get them closer to the line of scrimmage, and fire. Right when the ball snapped, he's coming downhill, doing a good job creating the loss. That linebacker really knew what was going on. From the gun on third down. Oh, they really could have used that catch. Their physical pass defense, it brings up a fourth down. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. Now on fourth down, they'll settle for a field goal try. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. And that'll put the first points of the game on the board. It's three to nothing. This is a team that really prides themselves on starting fast. We've seen that before, and here they are playing at home today. Nice job on the opening drop. Lots of poise, good emotion. They don't get the touchdown they would have liked, but they kick a nice field goal. They've got the lead. Head coach has to be happy with that. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. On the run from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. So the Kentucky Wildcats offense will get the ball for the first time. And they seem to believe that they can take big plays away and man coverage by just locking them up in this matchup, David. Yeah, and it's hard to lock down a great wide receiver, but a great defensive back versus a great wide receiver, we got a showdown. Yeah, let's be honest, David. Most defenses don't have a dude like that at cornerback that could do that in a game like this, but this matchup is unique, and it's going to really determine the outcome of the game. This crowd going to try to make life miserable for these guys. To the air, it's Vandergriff. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. You know, the short passing game is a great go-to weapon for any offensive coordinator in the first quarter because it's reliable, obviously, but it also allows you to see how the defense is going to react and play you. So for coordinators, this can really open up the rest of your playbook for the rest of the game. Toss sweep to the right. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. They're trying to run the football. There's just nowhere to go for the ball carrier inside. He tried to bounce it to the outside. That linebacker way too fast. He met him there and forced the TFL. Kentucky will be forced to punt. They'll have to punt for the first time this afternoon. Makes a move. Coverage team gets the job done, and they'll mark him down at the 38-yard line. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Always good to get points on a drive, David, but chip shot field goals can leave you a little empty. And I think it's great to get points, but the great teams get touchdowns in the red area. you got to get out there this time and execute a little better on this drive. You're absolutely right, David. Generally, the best red zone offenses are the ones that run the ball the best. So let's see if they can be a little bit more physical on this drive. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. From the gun, the running back has it. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Offensive linemen love to run the power. Why? You run power. You run power. Then you can play action. You don't want that defense to be sitting there saying, it's a pass, it's a pass, having to pass block every play. you got to keep defenses off balance.
It'll be a run on third and short. He gets it oh so close to the first down marker, but I think he's going to be a touch short. And that's a nice stop by this defense. Nice job stopping the run, setting up fourth and inches. Listen, this is a no-brainer. If I can't get inches, I don't deserve to win. I I'm coming downhill. I'm playing physical. I'm picking my play, whether it's quarterback sneak, fullback dive, whatever it is that we do great, and I'm going to get my inches. Able to keep them from getting a return, and the ball goes out of bounds. They're going to mark it right around the 20. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. The give to the lone running back. Stacked up after gaining a couple to the 23. And these defensive tackles just eat people. They swallow human beings when you get near them. They're so big, so strong. Those guys, those running backs coming, they just need a mitt. They put one mitt on a running back, and he usually falls to the ground just because of their sheer mass and strength. Looking to throw, it's Vandergriff. Pass on the way, and it's picked off! And he's going to take it all the way! Touchdown, Gators! That's one of those plays you put a highlighter beside. It can really swing a game. 100%. There's a couple plays a game where you go back and you look and like, man, that changed the whole outcome. What an unbelievable play by the defense, not just to get the turnover, but to score the points off. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they're now up by a touchdown and a field goal at 10. They're lining up to kick it off after the pick six, and that defense will come out feeling it. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. The big thing now, don't get rattled by that last pick six, David. Nah, it was a big mistake. Uh, obviously, the defense took advantage of it, but you got to put it behind you. Jesse, I'm sure you know a thing or two about throwing a pick six and, and how to rebound. I believe I've only thrown one in my life, but yes, I do because of that singular instance. I'll say this. You can't let that play beat you twice. you got to go out and not try to get it all back here in one play. Just execute the offense. They'll ride the running back and leave it with him. Runs through the tackle. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. We've come to the end of the quarter, and it's Florida on top. They wanted to strike first and strike hard, and they've been able to do that here in the first quarter as we take a look at the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. They'll try the counter. Just couldn't get away from the tackle. It's hard to run on a defense that comes off the ball like that and runs to the football like that. Good luck. No holes anywhere. They got nothing on the last play. It's second and ten. Looking for a man. It's Vandergrip. Fires to the big fella. And the defense settled in to stop that one for a short game. I like the idea by the quarterback there. You're trying to get this first down, so you find the tight end, see if he can make a guy miss or shake a tackle. Not able to get it done. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. From the gun, wants to pass. Gonna let it fly. And this is dropped. Incomplete pass. He had a huge gain in his fingers, and he couldn't hold on. That's the one thing this defense takes a lot of pride on. They like tackling the catch, and they like being around the ball. That time, he was in proximity to knock that thing loose. Nice physical play. Kentucky sends out the punting unit. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. 
No return coming. He'll call for the fair catch. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They'll have another opportunity to extend this lead after punting last time, David. And it's important to put that punt behind you. It's, it's over. Let it go. Get back to what you were doing that built this lead. Yeah, and defense, obviously, they won a few downs uh, that last drive. So we got to put them on their heels here. Maybe mix up a few personnel groupings and try to show them some pictures they haven't seen. Right on target with that last pass. Now it's second and medium. They'll give it to Johnson. And how about that interior defense stuffing the run for nothing? And just a great job by the defense being stout, right? That's your job. Be stout up front, stuff in the run play, make them get in more passing situations, but do not let them run the football. That's 101. Stop the run first. Offense breaks the huddle on third down. Wants to go up top. Get it out on the screen. He is going nowhere. Stop at the line of scrimmage. He just didn't have a chance to get loose and make his way to that first down marker. I think fans get upset sometimes. Like, run your route past the sticks so we get the first down. But nice job by the defense understanding where the sticks were and forcing the fourth down. And the Gators will punt it away on fourth down. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He will signal for the fair catch and take it just inside the 35. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Off play action. Oh, he's ready to take a shot. It's complete. A huge pickup. Plenty of room on that play, and they find their way to the 36. That's a beautiful pass and catch. I love the job the quarterback does manipulating the defense with his eyes. He froze that safety, and that allowed his receiver more room to work his route. This first half of offense won't go on the highlight reel so far. But starting to get things moving, it's first and 10. Hands it off. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That linebacker saw the express lane right to the ball carry. And a great job by the defensive line getting some push, making them use their resources on him. Linebacker comes free. Boom, we're making the backfield for a tackle for him. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Back to throw. It's Vandergrift. Pocket starts to collapse. And the defense picks up a sack, getting the quarterback down at the 44. And that is your job. The O-line has to protect their quarterback. That's the most important position on the field. you got to make sure you keep him upright. you got to do a better job. Better find the earplugs. Here comes the noise. Backing this defense on third down. It's a draw. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. But you have to find a way to create some hesitation on defense when you're selling the draw play. They just didn't do it well enough there. Yeah, it's got to be the offensive line and the quarterback and the running back. They all have to work together to, to show pass, pass set up front, act like it's a throw for the quarterback, not rush it. But the defense clearly not fooled, got in the backfield, got the tackle for a loss. No return possible on this one. It goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Use the play fake. Now to throw. Quickly to the tight end. There to make the tackle, but the big throw is good enough to give them a first down. You know, we joke that the tight end's always open, David, but play action almost makes it impossible to keep them coming. And yeah, because those guys, they're such good blockers most of the time. They're big and physical, and they sell block for a second, and then they run open, and they find holes in zones, or they get good matchups. And man, those tight ends nowadays are nightmares for defenses to try to stop. Able to scrounge three yards out of that one somehow. It's second and seven. 
Well, he comes up with the reception, but not a lot of room to run after that. Yeah, and I like the QB doing this. I mean, I'm going to find ways to give him the football and see if he can make a miss. And I'm going to bet most of the time that my guy is a little bit more athletic than that defensive guy. Defense won this battle, but I like trying to get this guy the ball in space. And the defense gets to the quarterback. Oftentimes with play action, you're asking the quarterback to hold on to the ball a bit longer, and you're asking this offensive line to hold up and pass pro a bit longer. Against this athletic front seven on defense, it's going to be tough. A chance to sort of put the defense on its heels if you convert a third and long. This one from the 44. Feeling some heat. And that's just a flat misfire, not even close to his receiver. And offensively, we know it's hard throwing the ball in third and long situations because the defense can play big zone coverages. They got a lot of guys with their eyes on you, so the QB had no shot there. Nobody open. Nice job not forcing it, not risking a turnover, just throwing it away. The Gators send out the punt unit. And the punt hits at the 8 and goes into the end zone for the touchback. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. They just didn't quite find the rhythm on that last drive, Jesse. They had to punt it. I think they got to be more physical, David. I got a lot of running room. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. Man, that's excellent blocking there on the left side of the line. They were able to get great push get off the line, create a little bit of crease for that running back. He just created a wall. He had all kinds of room to run. Dad, I'm going to go back to that one and call that one again. It worked so well. You look to be backed up, and then suddenly you're not. Big play has them across the 50, and they'll have it first and 10. And sticking to the run. I'll tell you what, a lot of teams that are really good are really stubborn, and they continue to run the football even with little success. So this offense is going to continue to focus on running the football, you can tell. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. It'll be a draw. And he does a really nice job finding open space and making a good gain before the stop is made. And oftentimes, running backs love drop plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass. The quarterback's selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed way upfield. And now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. Here comes this home crowd as the defense tries to get off the field on third down. Unloads to the wideout. Catch in the middle. It's Brown. He'll come through on third downs. He's got enough, and they'll mark it at the 23. This dude is just exceptional in every facet. So fluid, such a great route runner, and a big play there. And money down, third down, find him. I mean, you want to find that matchup because he's going to win. And gets a good release, gets down the field. You see, his that's your playmaker, that's your guy. Get it to him, get the first down. Man, the defense is making it tough on this quarterback early. They already have an interception. They almost came away with another one there. They're doing a great job reading his eyes and breaking on the ball. That last incompletion leaves him with second and 10 from the 23. Looking to pass. It's Vandergrift. And that's going to fall to the ground incomplete. That was a physical matchup there. Third down coming. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. They're going to throw it again. Fires left. It's complete. Gets out of bounds after the big play, and they'll be set up in business with a first and goal. Really nice job there of the quarterback reading coverage. He knew exactly where to go with the football and at what exact time. The timing could not have been better. They get the completion on third down, setting up first and goal. First and goal and a touchdown here really gives him momentum. Fires into the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, Kentucky. 
And I tell you what, that passing touchdown, man, that should spark this whole team. Like, the comeback is more than on now. Like, they got the touchdown. They cut into the lead. You, you want to get a stop and go into the half, get all the juices, all the excitement, and be like, listen, the passing game's rolling. We got this. The comeback's in full effect. Getting set for the point after. And the PAT will draw them one point closer. So it's an 80-yard drive, and it was finished off with a two-yard touchdown toss. The kickoff team out there set to boot it away. He'll bring it out. It's Wilson. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Their drive chart is starting to look a little monotonous. Punt, punt. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. Well, the defender got his hand on that one, tipped it up in the air, and offense, man, they're lucky that one wasn't bad. The incomplete pass leaves him with second down. To the air, it's Mertz. He's got his man. Now they've got a little room to work with. They're out to the 28 with the first down. Yeah, when you run those drag routes, it just takes a little bit of know-how. And when I say that, the receiver's got to understand, find space. My quarterback's going to find me. He's looking for that space at the same time. Nice throw, nice catch. Way to get the first down. Now on first down from the 28. He wants to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Johnson. He's brought down solid. Pick up but a little bit short of the first down. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play. This defense is going to have to be careful. Not only do they have to worry about this guy running the football, but they've got to keep their eye on him when he runs routes, too. He is a versatile back. Grabbed in the middle. It's Badger. Nice pitch and catch there, and they'll have enough for the first down. This offense is clicking, and clearly everything is working. The offensive coordinator is calling good plays. The quarterback in his unit is executing. This defense right now, they have no answers. The Gators will snap it on first and ten. He's going to pass. Fires to the tight end. And he's able to bounce off one tackle for a solid pickup. That's why the good Lord invented tight ends, isn't it, David? Get a good pickup on first down, open up the entire playbook. And it just makes life so easy on quarterbacks. I mean, you got these guys that are so gifted athletically that you can do everything with them. They're like overgrown wide receivers and now understanding zones and how to attack them. It's just unbelievable when you got these kind of big athletes. The offense calls timeout. It's the second one they've used this half. Now they've moved it just inside the 40. First and 10 from the 39. Looking to move it through the air. How about that play to get a hand in there and force the incompletion? That is a tremendous job by the defender on that play because when the ball was thrown, his head was turned around. He was watching the receiver, quickly spun the head, turned his shoulder, located the ball, and then knocked it down. Just a few seconds remaining here as they try to put something up before halftime. Back to throw, it's Mertz. Working the middle of the field, and it's complete. And they finally haul him down, but not before the good catch and run. They'll immediately call timeout. Waning seconds of the first half, and they'll try to tack on a three before they head to the locker room. They've already put one field goal on the board. This one will need to be well struck from 44 yards out. It is good! And they'll trot off to the locker room after the field goal to close the half.
That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. All right, guys, you've been calling a magnificent game there in Gainesville so far. And it's been said football is a game of inches. And guess what? Based on the comparison between third down conversion rate today and the average yard per play, how can you argue that? I mean, the low-lying fruit is to look at some of the explosive plays we've seen in panic. But really, this game is going to come down to which team is more efficient when they have the ball and how they play when it matters most. With that said, let's send it back to our guys and all those chomping hands there in the swamp. Kickoff and kickoff return teams on the field, and we are just about ready to go in the second half. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They start this third quarter one possession game and hoping to get an early drive going. This offense is ready, and they're ready to take the field here and see if they can get something established. They don't have to change everything and reinvent the wheel. They've had some successes in the first half, so let's get that continued here on the opening ground. Yeah, and I love getting that break at half to go talk with my coaches and pick my offensive coordinator's brain so I know exactly what I need to do to attack this defense, and I get ball first. And after the incompletion on first down, this offense looking at second down. He makes the connection. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down marker. My old coach said, you'll never go broke taking a profit. Take what's there, take the positive yards, and never complain. Decibels rising as the crowd gets behind this defense on third down. Looking to throw, it's Vandergrip. Finds a tight end. And boy, is he close to that first down, maybe just a couple of inches short. I mean, good news here, they get the completion. Bad news, though, not enough to pick up the first down. The target there, he's got to do a better job understanding where the first down marker is, make sure he gets the right depth on his route. Now, all of a sudden, head coach has a big decision. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. And he's still running after the move. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Coming out on first down with the play fade. And the blitz gets to him just like that. And that's the thing about this defense. Yeah, they may be losing the game right now, but they've got difference makers on that side of the football. they got guys that can step up like that, create havoc, get a sack, create negative plays. They're going to need more of that here in the second half if they're going to win this game. Negative play on first down. That's what a defense always wants. Looking to throw on second down. Snags it over the middle. They bring him down, but a solid pickup to put them in position to pick up a first down. When you're a defense, you have a choice. Do you play man or do you play zone? They sat back in zone. That might change. They might change their mind and try to switch to man here shortly in the future. A third and long coming up here. From the gun, wants to pass. Catch in the middle, it's Badger. He gets the job done on third down. They move the chains, it's at the 37. Third down, a lot of times it comes down to not necessarily who's the most open, who do you trust the most? No, it's not about the X's and the O's, it's about the Jimmy's and the Joe's. And when my guy's better than you and I get you matched up out wide and I know I trust you, I'm finding you. Not much working there. It'll be second and nine. I never know if it's grammatically correct to say a team is being out physical. You hear it a lot in football, though. That's happening in this game. They are just not getting the push they need all game long up front to have any success when they decide to run it. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. The back goes in motion. Looking downfield, it's Mertz. Just a short pass to the tight end. And that was some kind of collision between a couple of big bodies there, and he stopped from getting the first down. 
Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tackle. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you could tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Yeah, and that's a really good job by the defense because when you get in that third and medium area, listen, you got to be worried about the run and the pass. Did a good job playing both, got it stopped, now forcing a fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. Never a doubt for this big-footed guy. 49-yard field goal is good. After putting up a three spot, the kickoff unit set to go. Fielded in the end zone, it's Brown. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic that they get him on the ground at the 20. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Last time, David, it was one, two, three kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot, and you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable, that last drive. they got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. Big play to start this drive, and they're already out at the 48. It's first down. On the run. It's Trainer. A most efficient pickup of six on first down. It's second and four. I know the passing game sells and the passing game is exciting, but it's not exciting to get five or six yards of pop on the ground, but it will be very successful. Six yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and four. It's a draw. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. When you look at the design of a draw play, you don't often see it going to the outside, but I'm not sure he had much of a choice there. Nah, the running back couldn't find a hole. The defense wasn't full. Listen, when you do see a draw as a defensive lineman, you don't bite. You don't run up the field. You, you don't rush the passer like they want you to. You sit there and play run for a second. Great job by that defensive line not running themselves out of a play. They'll run the screen. No siree, not this time. The defense was there and ready for that one. They allowed the completion, but this defense was swarming to keep them away from that first down line. Yeah, and you allow completions in those third down situations underneath the sticks, and you come up and rally, and everybody flies to the football. That's great execution by this defense. A fairly short distance here toward the sidelines, not his best work. The Gators sending the offense back to work. They kicked a field goal on the last drive, Jesse. They've got the lead. Don't make a dumb mistake, but maintain your aggressive play calling. Yeah, no doubt. And I think it's the play caller right now just taking a look at that script he's got in front of him and finding out where are my playmakers, who can we take advantage of on this defense to get a touchdown here. Yet. Yeah, and just keep moving the ball down the field. Just execute a little bit better in the red zone. There's no need to panic. We're moving the football, and we got the lead. Trying play action. He's going to let one fly down the middle. Fires it into traffic and it's picked off. And he's brought down and this defense gets the ball back for its own. Man, teams that play cover one at an elite level have an elite guy in the middle of the field that he's playing zone, everybody else playing man, and he can cover so much ground. You watch him run, he breaks on the football when he needs to, goes and makes the big interception. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. That last drive fizzled out, Jesse. They had to punt it. Yeah, they did, and David. And here's a fumble way behind the line. Defense swarming on that loose ball. It'll be a turnover. 
Those are hard for offensive linemen when they get beat. And you're going, no, look out for your blind side. Watch out. But they had a great job rushing the quarterback, getting him on the ground, and getting the football out. A little extra bonus. Nice job by the defense getting nasty. First down here for the offense. Wide receiver now comes in motion. Off the play fake on first down to throw. Wide open downfield. Touchdown, Florida! Hold it in and just kept right on running to the hallelujah land. When you're handed a break with unbelievable field position like that, you better finish the deal, and they did. You saw the quarterback jog on the field. I think he gave a high five to every one of those players coming off that just put them in position to go score that touchdown. That QB knew this was a golden opportunity, and boy, he took advantage of it. Play the analytics here, and you go for two. Trying to slam in. He's not going to make it stop short of the goal line, and they are unable to extend this lead any further. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. Oh, and he drops it on the crossing route on first down. He knew that defense was bearing down on him. It'll be second down. You're not going to see that happen too often. The quarterback, man, he was licking his chops. He saw a big space in the middle of the field. He had his best receiver there ready to make a play. And he dropped it. Second and ten after the previous play. Looking for room. It's Trainer. Crosses the 30. He's got a lane. And they'll finally catch up to him, but not before a big chunk of yardage is picked up. I'll tell you, the defense is going to have to do a much better job containing these outside run plays. They better be able to funnel the football back to the middle of the field because this guy with his speed can kill you like he did on that outside run play there to the left. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. Back to pass, it's Vandergrift. Well, the quarterback can make a big play when he starts moving around. He's finally stopped, but a big play there with his feet as he moves those sticks. Man, how tough is this guy to defend? He drops back, everything tells you pass, and then he scrambles and gets the first down. Just so hard to defend. Kentucky back at it with a fresh set of downs. Trying to find his man on first down. Shoots it to the left. He's got an open man. Touchdown, Wildcats! And once he found daylight, it was Katie bar the door, baby. Quarterback's abilities to read the field is huge. And also the anticipation, the timing. To be able to throw the football, Jesse, and hit a guy in stride so he can get run after the catch and get in the end zone, that was a nice job by the quarterback. Yeah, it's critical, David. Listen, a lot of times, touchdown passes aren't thrown into the end zone. You've got to read the coverage, hit the open guy, and let him do the rest. They'll try to tack one more on their score. And it's up and good as they draw just a touch closer. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And they get it into the end zone on a 36-yard touchdown pass. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. He was looking for more running room, but none to be found as he stopped at the 23. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. Boy, David, they would love to stack another touchdown on top of that last drive. And this offense did such a good job on the last drive. Everything in rhythm, moved the ball down the field, didn't make those mistakes, Jesse, and they need to do it again on this one. Yeah, you're right. They had the defense on their heels. You wonder what sort of communication was going on that sideline. What sort of changes were they able to make? Because they got to stop the bleeding right now. 
Big play to start this drive. Now they'll snap it from the 39. He'll come out throwing on first down. Hums it downfield. Off the deflection, missed a great chance to force the turnover. Instead, it'll be second down. Love the competitive nature by the defender on that play. That's just a 50-50 ball, and that defender swatted it away. And the incompletion brings up a second down for this offense. The handoff to Johnson. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. This defense will try to force a fourth down on third and short from the 45. Wants to throw. It's Mertz. Getting some heat. Makes his connection. On the move at the 30. And they'll do more than move the chains. They'll move that thing more than 30 yards down the field before he's finally stopped. Love the individual effort by the wide receiver after the catch. Making people miss, showing you the speed. Now he set up his offense down in the red zone. As they get set to snap it, time winding down here in the quarter. From the gun, give on the inside. And they'll drag him down. That's likely the last play of the third quarter. And you want to talk about his favorite receiver, it might be everybody, based on the number of guys getting touches and a chance to show off their hands in the passing game. When you're dealing with a deficit like this, it's all about somebody stepping up to make a play, and you might as well start here in the fourth quarter. They'll run it. Plows through the defense. Pushes ahead for a pickup of one down to the 13. This offensive line better figure out a plan for this D-tackle. He is tough to block with one guy. You might want to start double-teaming him. He's going to be a problem moving forward. You saw all of his ability on that last play. Boy, they'd love to pick up this conversion and go to work with a first and goal. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. And here comes the heat, and they get home, and they get him at the 21. This defense has the ability to get pressure on the QB from the edge. And I don't necessarily mean from defensive ends, but from the outside linebackers. These guys get in their sprinter stances, and they come off the ball. That outside linebacker showed you his speed right there. So here we are on fourth down, and this field goal kicker is going to face all the pressure in the world. And it's right down the boulevard. And that lead grows even bigger. You know, it's funny, in an age where there's so many college football analytics and everybody wants to go for it on fourth down, at the end of the day, it still comes down to managing it. Good decision by the head coach here in the fourth quarter. By kicking that field goal, you've now made it a two-possession game. Your chances of winning this thing have now gone way up. So after the made field goal, they'll kick it away and rely on their defense. On the move from inside is five. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Kentucky has it back, and the big blue offense takes the field. They move the tight end all over. Off the play fake on first down to throw. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. This defense, they are tenacious, and they've got guys up front that are athletic and that are so strong and can collapse the pocket. You saw it right there in that play action. They've got them pinned deep in their own end, and this crowd trying to help keep them there. To throw, it's Vandergrift. Fires to the big fella. He's brought down, but there's a flag on the field. Let's see what the call is.
just an ill-advised play by the defender to make contact with the quarterback after the throw, and it cost his team. Unloads to the right. Makes the grab. And they are pushing the ball down the field. A big pickup on that one, and the tackle is finally made. What a beautiful throw and catch on this play, and I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. One big play, and you go from a little backed up to threatening. It's first and 10 from the 40. Use the play fake. Now to throw. With the catch. It's key. The expressway is wide open. He'll be brought down at the three-yard line. An explosive play in the passing game as him on the doorstep. How nice is it as a quarterback when you don't have to throw post routes to get great stats? No, I can just throw it quickly to one of the fastest players in the entire nation and let him burn this defense. First and goal and a great opportunity to slice into this lead. They'll try to get it in with the run. Just a solid stop by this sophomore. The big fellas coming out the goal line defense. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. And now a big third down coming up. Down multiple possessions. This is one, Palmer, I'm looking for six. I'm not trying to kick a field goal. I want to cut into this lead with a touchdown. No, you got to have it. And also, considering all that, this is four down territory, too. So you need to identify who are your best players on offense and how can you give them a chance to score this time. He's got it in the end zone. Touchdown, Wildcats. Well, we wondered exactly where the momentum was, and it looks as if Uncle Mo might have switched sidelines and switched families. And momentum is such a big thing. It's such a real part of college football, isn't it? And you can just feel that right now. It just felt a few minutes ago like this game was over, and all of a sudden, this team, they're believing in themselves. They've got some win. They've got some hope. Their defense now needs to get the football back to keep that momentum going. To the air, it's Vandergrift. Throw to the end zone, picked off. Almost ready to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. On the run from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Gators sending the offense back to work. Jesse, they had to kick a field goal the last time they had it. And oftentimes early in games, you're just trying to find your rhythm. Some things work, some don't on that first drive, David. It'd be interesting to see what happens here on the second drive. Yeah, you got a feel for the defense now. You understand what they're trying to do, what their game plan is. Now you get to go into phase two of your game plan. Not what they had in mind to start this drive. Here comes second and 13. He's looking to throw. Oh, he wants it all. And it slips through his fingers incomplete. That would have been a huge game if he could have held on. That's what I'm talking about. That is how you close. And when a guy's going to make a catch, you make sure he doesn't make it. Physicality, using your pads, running through them. And guess what? Not only this play does he feel it, next time he tries to go over the middle or feels footsteps, this will pay dividends. And they'll miss the connection here on third down. And that is a frustrating possession for this offense. You wanted to run the football maybe, take some time. You did the opposite. Got in a bad situation, threw the football, stopped the clock. Not how you manage a game late in the fourth quarter. And the Gators line up to punt it away. 
He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. Excellent coverage that time. Didn't give him any room to set up a big return. Kentucky sends the offense back out onto the field. From the gun, the running back tries to hit the hole. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. And off from the shotgun. And the defense snows him under after a very short game. Lining up to convert third down. Looking downfield, it's Vandergrift. Didn't put much on that one, and it's incomplete. And the quarterback gets hit again. You already know this defense has gotten home to him multiple times in this game. So here you are. You're trailing in the game. Defense knows you're going to throw it. They're pinning their ears back. You can't feel very confident right now if you're the play caller, certainly if you're the quarterback, that you're going to have time to throw. Fourth down, and the punt team sends it the other way. Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. He finds his man. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? From the 39-yard line, it's first and 10. Motion from the offense. Wants to throw on first down. They're trying to get to him. And the pressure gets to him. Down goes the quarterback. Play action pass success has a lot to do with selling that fake. You could tell defense was not buying it, got in the backfield, got the big play. They'll probably bleed every second possible off this clock before they snap it. They keep it on the ground. Clock is their friend. And this one will be stopped for no gain. Yeah, it's a nice job by this defense. Obviously backed up against it. Time running out. Got to get the football back. Two good plays. Now third down. I stay aggressive. Have to come after them. If they decide to throw the football, so be it. But stay aggressive. Get that football back for your offense. On third and long, he's going to have to turn one loose downfield. And the pass rush is effective, and they tackle him at the 19. Another sack by this defense, but how about this QB? He continues to get back up every single time, still leading his team, still staying positive, still putting him in a good position to win this football game. The Gators will call on their punt team. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. We have arrived at the two-minute warning, a one-possession game as this offense tries to hold on. The Gators will line up to punt it away. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. Might have thought he'd want to try to pick up a few yards there, but he's content with making the fair catch right around the 35-yard line. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Good job to avoid the negative play and just get rid of that thing. And how nice is it to have the home crowd going absolutely bananas? Communication is harder. The, the snapping the football, everybody being on time. Man, this crowd really affecting the football. After the incompletion, it's second down. Back to pass, it's Vandergriff. Fires to the wideout. Got his man downfield. 
A huge play, and they get it all the way to the 45-yard line. Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. Now a first down from the 45-yard line. He's looking to throw it. Complete with conviction on the crosser. They make the stop right there. Good pickup. It's still short of the first down. When you have a leader like this guy, you've got a chance to win, and that's what you see right now. There's just a different energy in this offense trailing in his two-minute situations. He's already thrown a couple of touchdowns. He's made some massive plays, and he's got the defense on their heels here late. Quarterback strolling away from Heat. Picks up the first down and gets down to avoid contact. The offense gets a quick timeout at this point. Every second is precious. Here comes Kentucky after picking up that first down. He wants to throw. And he'll chuck it into the cheap seats there and save the down. Nobody getting open there. And how loud is it in this building? This is crazy. This, these fans are going absolutely nuts. And I used to love when the fans got involved and I'm on defense because it messes with the snap count. It messes with the communication and it can really rattle an offense. Misfired on the last play. They'll go back to the air. Makes the grab. They make the tackle just outside the end zone, but it'll be first and goal from the one. And there was no question in that scenario. That's where the quarterback was going. He knew he had his receiver in a matchup that he liked, running a route where he would find himself open. Nice job between those two. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, Kentucky! And in the final moments, they've taken the lead. Man, this game has been incredible to watch, and the offense comes through late in the game, takes the lead. What a clutch drive by this offense. Now, I'm looking at you, defense. We got the lead late in the game. I need you to go put this thing on ice and win it for me. Up by one, they'll try to get the deuce and make it a field goal edge. Pre-snap motion quarterback trying to get a read. Pass is incomplete. No good on the two-point conversion. They tried to stretch this lead out to a field goal, but they're still up by one. About to kick it away after scoring the touchdown. He'll bring it back from inside his spot. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. Florida has the ball back, and here comes the offense. So the first order of business here, David, is don't knock yourself out of field goal range. Correct. Don't take the sack. Don't get a negative play. But if I can be aggressive, Palmer, I'm still trying to go to the end zone to get the immediate dub. Take as much pressure off of your kicker as you possibly can. You just got to wonder what he's thinking right now. Lots of pressure on him. Got to get everybody lined up quickly. Time winding away. They've got to push the ball down the field. Scanning the field. It's Mertz. Looking to the big tight end. It's complete. They immediately call timeout. Trying to preserve every second they can to try to rally here late. Here they come, first and 10 from the 48. He's going to pass. Quickly out to the tight end. And he'll make his way out of bounds after the solid pickup. Nice catch by the big target. Those big tight ends, you can tell in football, just becoming more and more of a weapon on every single team. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. The offense will use a timeout with 25 seconds left. And they sniff that draw out. With a draw, you, know, you really have to sell that pass like you're going to throw the ball down the field. But the defensive line, the defense was not biting. You could tell they were ready for it. Kane got on the running back, got him on the ground quick, fast, and hit him. Timeout called by the offense. Clock stopped with 21 seconds left. They're in the red zone. First and 10 from the 20. Yeah. 
They're threatening to score, and they'll throw it. He got it! Touchdown, Gator! And they've got the lead in the final minute. Yeah, and a nice job in the fourth quarter making plays, and a nice job being on the same page. QB, receiver. You can tell he broke with the football. He caught it in stride, gets into the end zone. Nice pitch and catch right there. Nice chemistry by the QB and wide receiver. Here comes the two-point try. Fast motion from the offense. Touch pass on the jet sweep. Just couldn't nudge it across for the two-point conversion. They'd hoped to go up by a touchdown, but they're still up by five here in the fourth. Now that they have the lead, this kickoff unit has to stay in their lane, create some field position, and hand it over to the defense. Here's the return from inside his tent. He was hoping for something a little more dynamic, but they get him on the ground at the 20. They've got to move quickly here. Still a chance, but they've got to force the ball down the field. They'll crank up this drive with the pass. Throws to the wideout. That is just a sideline credit. Throw, catch, toe drag, everything you want. No time to waste here. They've got to get set and pick up chunk yardage. Dropping back, it's Vandergriff. He's going up top here late in the game. Wait till the final whistle. It falls incomplete, and that's the ball game. 